Hello everyone, I've had a few requests to do a home tour and if you've watched other videos on my channel you probably know that I've been moving around a lot but I'm finally settled into a longer term place and can do some tours for you guys. Before I get into it, I do want to explain a little bit about our living situation. I'm living in this apartment with my husband Ben and when we moved overseas we sold all of our furniture and decided that we would only be renting furnished apartments both because we didn't really have the money to furnish an entire apartment and also weren't totally sure how long we were gonna be here so the furniture is not ours we just had to buy things like sheets towels blankets that kind of stuff and it's not necessarily my style or exactly what I would have chosen but I do really love this apartment and think it's a great space also wanting to live more simply, one of the first things we did when we moved in was do a declutter of anything that we knew for sure that we didn't want and weren't going to use. We packaged up all those things and we were able to put those in a storage room, which is a great feature in this apartment because obviously since we're decluttering things that we don't own, we can't get rid of them. So I'll jump to the tour and show you guys our bedroom. So this is the door. The left of the door, there are these drawers a laundry basket, chair, two big wardrobes, another chair, and then the bed and two side tables. So starting over here, we have this chest of drawers. There is a peace lily on top, which I really like having plants in the house and in the bedroom. I just think it makes it a lot nicer and I sort of use them as decoration. Peace lilies are one of NASA's top ranked air purifying plants, so that's really cool. And there's just a little beeswax candle on the side, and I'd like to get a few more candles in here because I think those are just always really nice to have. So this top left drawer is my husband's, and he keeps his belts and ties and stuff in there. And in this drawer, I keep my jewelry and other accessories. I have some perfume, glasses, the belt from my capsule wardrobe, in the back, there are a few more belts and some headbands and stuff like that. The next drawer is my husband Ben's. This drawer, I have my underwear and socks and stuff. This drawer, I have some tank tops and my pajamas and my shorts. And I keep a few other tank tops and t-shirts that aren't part of my capsule wardrobe, but I just keep them in there because there's lots of space in here. And then the very bottom drawer, I have all my athletic wear. So I have t-shirts, tank tops, hoodie, and some sweatpants and shorts. So this dresser is actually more space than we need. We used to have smaller ones with just three drawers and that was totally fine for us. So we have two chairs, this one and this one, and we keep clothes on here that we have worn but that don't need to be washed yet. So I have some yoga clothes on here because I can wear them again, I didn't sweat in them at all. And then just some around the house lounge pants and this cardigan, which again, I've worn. I try to wear clothes as much as possible before they need to be washed. There are two big wardrobes and when we first moved in here I thought that we probably wouldn't use one of them at all because we didn't really need it but I actually do like having both of them. So this one is the main one where we keep our clothes in. Step back and show you guys this. So at the top we just have a little bit of storage space. We have sweaters on this shelf and then on the left side are my clothes. On the right side are Ben's clothes. So these are the majority of the clothes from my capsule wardrobe. And then we have our jeans down there. And at the very bottom, there is some swim stuff and summer stuff. And then my husband's swim stuff and some biking clothes. So that's just like seasonal things. And then everything that is not in my capsule wardrobe, I keep in the other wardrobe. So I have my winter coat and some other things in there. At the top there, we have our backpacks. I have another smaller bag that I use for smaller trips or as a carry-on. And then I don't know if you guys can really see in here. I can't open it super far, but there is a big suitcase. That is where I used to put everything that wasn't part of my capsule wardrobe, but it's nice to be able to hang it up. And at the very bottom here, there are some winter things, 
hats, scarves, mittens, that kind of stuff. So this one is mostly storage and we usually don't even go in here. That's why there's a chair right in front of it. So onto the bed area. Now you guys will have to tell me if this is common in other places as well, having two separate blankets because in Canada, it's not really common at all. But I think it's so great because I'm usually too cold at night and Ben is usually too warm at night. So he has an organic cotton summer blanket and I have an organic cotton all season blanket. So I don't know if you can really tell, but mine is definitely thicker and warmer. So that's really nice to have. Now you guys might also find this interesting. We both sleep on seed pillows. I have a spelt seed and you can probably hear it. It's really great. It's sort of moldable, so you can kind of squish like all the seeds up to one side. This is something new that we've been trying and both really like it. Because my husband also sleeps on a seed pillow, but he has a millet seed pillow. So it's quite different. It's a little softer. It's less crinkly. So on my side of the bed here, I have this little spider plant. And I really like how these guys look. And it's also an air purifying plant. And then here I have a Kindle, a notebook, and this is the Badger Bomb Night Bomb, which I really like. It smells really good and it's just kind of an aromatherapy sleeping thing. Down here is a Cherry Pit heat pad, which I really like to use on my neck and also when I'm having cramps. And over here, I have my little list of motivation to wake up and go out and exercise. On the windowsill here, we have an aloe vera plant. And on this side of the bed, there's just another little lamp. So that is the bedroom. The only thing I'd like to possibly change is the curtains. It'd be nice, I think, to have something a little bit more colorful. And then there's this wall. The wallpaper was done not the best. You can see like a line here and there. And I think it would be nice to have some art or something on this wall. But other than that, I really like it. I like how light everything is. And I think it's just a nice, calm space for sleeping. We really don't spend a ton of time in here. Well, I guess we do if you consider sleeping, but it just works well for sleeping and for keeping our clothes and stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tour. I'd love to hear your comments or if you have other video suggestions. I'm thinking of also doing a bathroom tour on this channel and maybe a kitchen and living room tour on my other channel. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.